didn't this start out more as a United States convention or has it become a huge international convention? Yeah. Or do I have a misimpression? No, no, you're right. I remember that was a little bit involved in the, in the, in the international. Morphing into the international. Yeah, market. you know, Navi started out as a place for domestic syndication. Right. And, and it was a station driven thing with distributors of kind. Of I thought that's the way yeah. I remembered it. In yeah, the and then what happened was uh, I was my first international client was a client called Renata Television, in England, right. which now has become ITV. But, uh, it's morphed into with other names, but um, I actually uh, asked the chairman of Granada at that time, would he be interested in hosting a nat sort of briefing session in, in England? And he said, I'd be happy to do that. And we did it in Manchester, which is the right. headquarters for Granada. And, 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 and from Europe came a book on the distribution or the program business. Right. And that ultimately led to, uh, to NAPI becoming you know, what the international conference was today. But, but I'll be right in saying that originally it was a domestic conference. Yeah. So as it's changed into an international conference as well as domestic, um, how has that influenced overall programming and things that people look for here? Well, what you're seeing here is something that's, you know, just as you said before about when people work and accept cable television, they mm -hmm. would say cable television, what is it now? It's built such an unbelievably big industry. And to that point, everybody said, well, what do you have in Europe that we would really be interested in? Okay. And it was like this poo pooing of England and, and Europe. And then all of a sudden, take a look at today. American Idol came out of England. I mean, some of the biggest shows, right. format shows, have come out of Europe or come out of other places around the world. So now, just like technology that became out to start really doing something, well, now the international yeah, community and the domestic community are talking to themselves and each other and they say to themselves, Okay, how do we benefit from this? Right. Well, you've got a great show that's doing unbelievable ratings. Can we acquire the format rights? So it's a lot more of an even playing field now around the world in terms of entertainment. America is still very strong, mm -hmm. but, it, but it isn't necessarily that dominant force in everything that goes on. Right. But there's a lot of good things coming out of other countries. Well, I even spoke with some Chinese syndicators and producers who are saying we would love to do co-productions with people from Absolutely. America and Europe. So even the melding of cultures in international productions is really blooming here that I noticed. That's right. Um, as you we as you are looking down the road as a visionary, mm -hmm. where do you see in the next five or ten years taking the show and and the output of the show? I think Miami's going to grow. This Miami's great. Mm -hmm. Miami's been a great thing. For Good hub. Great place. You know the most interesting thing about my Miami was it's this venue mm -hmm. is conducive to interaction, people to people. Right. Okay. You see them in the hallways, you see them in the lobby, you see them outside. That connection is is singularly, I think, one of the most important things. When you're in other cities that you know require you to know, take a cab here, people in all different kinds of hotels or whatever, you don't get that dynamic. So one is I think that now he's gonna grow because the word of mouth is going to be really strong mm -hmm. coming out of this, as it was last year, I might Yes. Um, and more people did come. Highest level of buyers we've had, tendencies, good levels, everything. And then I think Matthew will grow from continued growth within the digital world, mm -hmm. okay, which we're expanding into uh, more and more with new people and new ideas. And then, I, and then it probably will come from some growth that might come from looking at other opportunities that are out there. Uh, seminar programs, other organizations that make sense that Matthew can be aligned, aligned with. And, and that's where I think the growth is going to happen. Fabulous. Yeah. Great to see you again. Great to Thank see you, you as well. It's a pleasure. Thank you. I'm going to hand this to you. Yes. And uh, step away for a second. If you can say watching your name.